around it. Next I'm gonna drill some holes for the chain to go through. You want it to hang straight because not only is that just the best thing for a pendant, uh, it also is just gonna run nicer as well. If it's kinking like that, chain's not gonna run very well. Looking from the side, looking from the top. There you go. Obviously don't go up to where your stone's gonna sit. So there you go, it's gonna be like this. Stone is in position, chain still moves. Let's see if that stone holds in there. You can see how, the, how it goes across the back, look. Right, now this pendant, what's nice about it, that can be set without the chain on it. It'll be a bit fiddly getting the chain back in there, but you can do it, and I think it's much easier to set it without the chain there. Finished pendant, set nicely, looks nice and round. Nicely polished, it's polished on the inside. See that, see all the shiny sparkiness going inside. The back is polished nicely, that's really important. You don't want a scratchy back. And uh, probably one of the most important things as it's a runner pendant, does it run on the chain? Yes, it does, just under its own weight. It's not catching at all, it moves quite nicely. So there you go guys, that's how you make the runner pendant. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the information useful. I tried to put as much as I can into the videos, like I show everything I'm doing. Every time I change a tool, you're gonna to know about it. Every time I change a technique, you're gonna know about it. I'm trying to show things at the best angle and be clear, explain what I'm doing to try to make like the ultimate instructional guide.